Hello my friends, today I'm going to show you a quick demo how you can use the Salesforce DX command to work with non-Salesforce DX project. The demo will be all about you know fetching the code from a non-Salesforce DX project, converting that code base to a Salesforce DX format, make some changes in the code and then converting it back to the metadata API format and then using the Salesforce DX command to deploy the changes to non Salesforce DX project. To do that, I'll be using my personal developer org, which is non Salesforce, which is non Salesforce DX, you know, org. I don't have a developer hub enabled on, on, the, on my, you know, personal developer org. I'm using that org to fetch the code. To start with, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a Salesforce DX blank project. And the command for doing that is a DX force project create and then minus n and i'm going to give the name non dx project demo so with that command it's going to create a very blank salesforce dx project with the name of non dx project demo Perfect, it's done. Let's go inside of this project and see what is there. That's a project. This project is having a force app. You can see it's a SFDX project. So now what I have to do, I have to imp I have to retrieve the metadata from my developer org. To do that, I have already you know authenticated my developer org with SFDX. I'm going to show you that. So that's the developer org that I have with the alias name of Sudipta Personal, Sudipta Personal, and it's already connected. So that's a developer org where I don't have developer half enabled. So it's a non Salesforce DX project, non Salesforce DX org. And I'm going to retrieve metadata from this org. To do that, I'm going to create a folder called SLC. And inside that folder, I'm going to create a package.xml. The intention here is like this is the folder which will be used to retrieve the metadata and this is the package.xml where i'm going to i'm going to let sfdx command know like these are the metadata which i'm going to retrieve or which i would really want to retrieve to do that let me you know fetch a very standard package.xml content and put it here Along with this custom object, let me retrieve all Apex classes and all Apex, all Visual Force pages. Perfect. Now I have the source folder. Inside the source folder, I have the package.xml. Package.xml is having this content. So I'm, I'm now going to use the SFDX command to retrieve this metadata from a non Salesforce DX org. The command for doing that oh, wait a minute. Well, I don't remember this command and I always uh, okay. I always use uh, help perfect so now what I'm going to do I'm going to retrieve the metadata from my developer org I'm going to specify the name of the I'm going to specify the allies which is like should the personal that's the allies or that's the allies for my developer org I'm going to retrieve the metadata and also I'm going to tell SFDX command know that my package.xml is here. Hold on a second. I think I'm in a wrong folder. Let me quickly see which folder I am now. 
trying to get out of that. We can always do that from there, but it's, I, I always prefer to work from the root folder. So SFD exports metadata API retrieve again. Okay. I'm going to retrieve the data from my personal org, which is Sudhita Personal. I'm going to let SFDX know that you will find the, that you will find the package.xml here. And I'm also I'm also going to let SFDX know that you can retrieve and store all the uh, metadata inside the SRC, SRC folder. So let's execute the command. Oh, sorry, I have put twice minus u. It should be minus k. So let's execute the command again. Now you see it started retrieving the data. And you'll see here everything will come inside the source folder. Inside the source folder, once this job is done, the job is done. I have a zip folder now. This zip folder is containing, this zip file is containing. It's not a folder, sorry. This G file is containing all the metadata. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to the source folder and unzip this file. Now I have a folder called unpacked, which is having all G file now. Perfect. So now I have all my metadata inside this source folder. But you see here, this is not in a Salesforce TX format. So what I have to do, what I have to, what I have to do, I have to convert this metadata API project into a Salesforce TX project. By converting, this code should go to force dash app in this folder. The comment for doing that, make sure I'm in the root folder, perfect. So the comment for doing that, force, metadata API convert again I use a help command okay now I'm going to tell SFDX that this is the root folder where all my metadata code or all my metadata uh, is there and this is the folder where I want my converted code to go execute this command now what it will do it converted everything from this metadata format to a salesforce tx format now with that one what i'm going to do i'm going to create a class called account controller and i'm going to make a small change here say for example i don't need c.email anymore let's do this change now i've saved that now my intention is I have made the changes in the Salesforce DX format, but these changes should go to my non Salesforce DX org. But how can I do that? So, to do, to do that, I have to again convert my Salesforce DX project into a metadata API format so that I can deploy it to my non Salesforce DX project, right? To do that, let me create a folder called converted code. The intention here is like this code, this folder will contain this folder will contain the converted code by converted means con code from salesforce dx format to a metadata api format so the command for doing that again i don't remember the command i'm taking the help of i'm, I'm taking the i'm taking the help um, here so what I'm going to do, I'm going to let SFDX know that now you need to convert a Salesforce DX formatted source to a metadata API format. The comment for doing that SFDX for source convert and then this is the folder where I have my Salesforce DX code and this is the folder where I want my converted code to go. Done. It's doing the conversion right now. 
the conversion is done. You see the message here, source was successfully converted to metadata API format. So now I have, I have a code which I can easily deploy to my non salesforce GX project or non salesforce GX org. The comment for doing that, md API, deploy again. What I'm going to do, I'm going to deploy to this org. I'm again using the ally for that. That's the biggest advantage. I don't need to remember like, I don't need to, you know, enter my username, username and password every time. I can use the allies. And then I'm going to let SFTX know that this is the folder. This is the folder where you will find all the code which you need to deploy. I'm, I'm telling SFDX no, wait for 10 minutes for this comment to execute. So now let me go back to my non salesforce DX org and open the deployment status. Now execute this command. It started doing the deployment. I hope so. Let's see. Let's figure it out here. Perfect. You can see here the deployment has started. So let the deployment let the deployment finish and we'll see whether the changes that we have done in the account controller is all is deployed successfully in this non salesforce DX org. Perfect deployment done. Good. Now go back to the class here. And the changes we have done in this account controller. If the moment I open the account controller, I don't see that C dot email anymore. So it proves that my changes which I've done in the Salesforce DX format, it was successfully deployed in a non Salesforce DX org. This is the way, my friend, you can always use Salesforce DX command, but still work with your non Salesforce DX org. I hope it, help, it helps you. Please let me know. I'll really appreciate if you put your comments on my blog. Thank you.